Hello, friend. We are live. Let's jump right into the updated science unit, space science unit from the Good and the Beautiful. We'll check out the course book, then hop into the student journals, then we'll check out the book pack. So this is one that we have been excitedly waiting for. Well, at least I have. We'll see how excited my kids are. I personally love space and cannot wait to get into this one as soon as possible. This is designed for grades three through eight. There's 15 lessons. We got the book pack and the extension book. The extension lessons are also in the older students journal. We'll talk about that in a minute. The supply. I like to always let you guys or give you guys the tip of look through the supply list. If there's something you don't have, check the lessons activity before purchasing it just to make sure that's something you actually want to do or that your kids will actually be interested in. Oh, two pages before you purchase it. All right, the vocabulary, I like to put a little flag here and then we just come back to it and review the words with each new addition to our vocabulary in the lesson. If at ever, any point you want me to move a little quicker or slow down, there is a settings button in the bottom right hand corner of the video that you can click to adjust and you can get what you need out of this video. And if we haven't met yet, hi there. My name is Elaine from On The Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning, and on this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share what works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. Oh, I love this. I just, I just have such a fascination with space and genetics and human anatomy and, and just science. Science is good. Chemistry. All the things. I'm excited for chemistry to come out. They just released it and I got it ordered today. So as soon as it comes, we will be flipping through it together. And I have a flip through of every newly released or updated science unit that they've done since they announced that they were gonna be updating them with the student journals. I have all of those. There's 12 so far with, so 11 with space. Chemistry is the 12th one this year. I have all of those linked in a playlist in the description, any playlist linked in the description box for you. That you can check out if there's one that you're particularly interested in. If you ever have any questions, please leave a comment. In, yeah, leave a comment and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. I love being a part of your journey. And question for you. I got a hold of a lot of the discontinued science units that I don't have videos for. Um, a friend let me borrow all of hers and I just curious whether or not you guys are interested in seeing the discontinued ones or if there are any particular ones you'd like a comparison on. Maybe just the ones that I have the two of I could compare. So I know that she's currently in the middle of the old, or at least has started the old space unit. So I won't have that one in my box to compare with this one, but there are other ones that I could potentially compare. Um, I guess I can, I will leave a community post, keep an eye on it sometime soon when I find that box again that up away from my filming area and I will make a list of the ones that I have and you guys can vote if you want a like specific side-by-side -side comparison or if I should just do flip throughs like this so they're on the channel and you can compare yourself because I'm sure that there are plenty available in the buy and sell, the buy sell trade groups. All right, let's check out the journals. Check out the journals grades three through six. This is the younger student ones. You got one for not quite every lesson. Maybe you do, except for 15. You have here, they're going to cut these out, paste them in here. Different activities. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait, I'm not sure that we, there we go. Got to do every page. That's what we do here. I am very much a, like, I just want to know everything that I'm getting when I purchase something, especially when it comes to a book or a curriculum. So I'd like to be able to show you guys that, especially for those of us who are not close to the warehouse to be able to go in person and see what we want to see. Maybe there's not. 
Maybe there's not. Okay. All right. There's the younger one. The older journal. Actually, we're going to hang onto that one close by so I can show you the difference. The older one has up to lesson 15 here, but that's probably because all of the extension lessons are in the journal. So they'll still do the same thing there. Then you have extension lesson one. Now, even when I don't have kiddos in this upper grade level, I like to get the journal anyway, because that's where the extension lessons are. But before I liked them in the course book, but either way is fine. It does not bother me one bit. I like still doing the extension lessons with my kiddos because they just cover a topics that I think are just so fascinating in each of the subjects. So we like to dive in a little deeper with those. So here's a quick difference that you'll be able to see between the younger and the older one. That was the same. Um, this is pretty close to the same. Here, they have cut out the words and paste them in here. And here they just have a word bank that they will write them in. So the younger one's just a little bit simpler. The older one um, is for those who can write, you know, just a little, just slightly more complex depending on what your child needs. So I, with my oldest, who is kind of developmentally in between different realms, depending on the subject and whatever else is going on. So I will flip through both of them with that child and then we'll just kind of pick and choose which journal will work best for this unit and that's how we so I get both anyway mostly because of this so if, if that child chooses the, this older one then if they're not done with the activity I just don't do a quick little like scan like copy it on my printer or a quick picture on my phone and just read it from there and that works too we have more of the constellation wayfinding see come on we could do wayfinding and then watch Moana Totally cool for a group, whole family thing. I love doing it all together. Or what's that show? Let's see, the Jet. Jet. I don't remember the show. His name, my kiddos love watching it. I don't remember. Jet Propulsion. There we go. At least that's his name. But maybe there's episodes that can kind of connect with these lessons, which would drive it all home and just make it more fun. Or maybe if your kiddos need like that um, fun first. You can do the episode about the topic first and then jump in and learn a little bit more while they're on a high from that episode. You know, whatever works for your kiddos. I'm like 90% sure they have one about dwarf planets. telescopes it's just so fun so fun and that could just be well no every topic even the ones that are not my favorite the extensions just you know add a little more depth to it all right let's look at the books so we have may james the story of may jameson sorry reading upside down sometimes i don't always get it and then a mars explorer one at Mars Exploration One. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna check out this one. I'm just gonna show you all the pages as quickly as I can. I always love it when we include diversity in it. And if you ever have any questions, please drop them down in the comments. I love being a part of your journey. I love it when they have actual photos. Okay. And then Mars Exploration 1. These I often work in as read-alouds. Um, we typically do them at bedtime, like right before bed. We'll come together and do a parent read-aloud. And on my nights, I will read a little bit from our, like whatever book we have related to our school science stuff going on or history or whatever it may be. And then I will read a chapter from a novel so we get a little bit of both and can fit it all in for our reading. So this Galileo book 
is a level eight chapter book. And so this is one that I would still do at like in the first reading of the two books. So I would read like a chapter of Galileo and then a chapter of whatever novel we're doing, which right now is Little Women, is the series that we're doing. So this goes through my oldest, read this book already. It took a while to get through it for them just because I think it's more of a like biography. It talks about his life. And I know that she was telling me about um, how his wife lived separately from him and he still set her up nicely so that she could have the life that she wanted and he could do what he wanted, different things. So it talked about his life. So it wasn't, um, I'm going to guess it wasn't extremely story form, but she made it through and she did enjoy it. I will likely read it aloud anyway for my kiddos when we get to it because the other ones haven't had a chance to read it. And then it will be a more cohesive reading for the older one who took some time to get through it. And then she might get more out of it then. So that's that one. And I will have linked in the description box, all of the other things that I can think of that you might find helpful. If there's something else that you're needing or have a question, please drop it down there. The best way to support this channel is by sharing, liking, commenting, engaging with the video so that it can spread out to others who are also looking for this curriculum. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you later. Bye.